Yo, Joe! G.I. Joe are known for their vehicles. They are indeed. And this is a fantastic example why. Because it's so freaking awesome. <laughs> okay, so the name of this is the Rhino. Yes, and that's an acronym. So it stands for Rapid Heli Integrated Neutralizing Offensive Vehicle. Wait, you said heli. Heli. But it's not a heli. It's a... We'll get to that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's a big bulky vehicle. It's a big bulky vehicle. It looks Lots like of... the Batmobile or something. It looks like... Um... It's the Batmobile meets the APC from, from Aliens. aliens. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's a lot of of influences there from that aliens thing and we've looked at a previous figure which showed a lot of predator influences mm -hmm. again they're showing a lot of influence from other media here but they do it so damn well yeah it's almost like a it's, it's a very <laughs> crazy looking yep. military type vehicle very bulky a big assault ground vehicle yeah missiles on the top guns on the sides it's chunky, it's huge, it looks like it can roll over anything, into anything. You don't want to mess with this vehicle. If you're on the outside, you are in trouble. If you're on the inside, you're going to be pretty safe. And no one is half the battle. G.I. Joe! So, how many figures fit in this vehicle? <sighs> well... At a guess. Um, <laughs> like, at least... <laughs> this is the thing. This thing is so packed with features mm. in it. Um, I mean, this is an APC in a lot of respects because there are so many different places you can put figures. Yeah. They've got an area here where you can fit one figure, so that's one. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a little gunning station over here. Yep. Um, so that's two. Nice hard plastic and all of that as well. Um, you've got the little control cockpit here, which yep. can fit two in there. Oh, two in there, cool. Um, you've got opening side door here. Yeah. Uh, so you can get people inside there. All these guns can be taken off as well if you need um, to. You can also open up from that angle. Uh, get some wow. There's seats for another three guys in there. So you can fit a bunch of guys in here. Yeah. And no one is half the battle. With these missile launchers, um, they are friction missiles. So rather than having a spring loaded sort of thing, yeah. you do just push on the back of it and fire oh, wow. um, and that's from the friction of the ball on the missile just going into a tight hole there mm -hmm. um, so it won't fall out okay so it's, it's kind of cool to have spring-loaded missiles without spring-loaded missiles you remember when I said the name was the Rhino yeah what was that acronym um, yeah rapid heli, heli integrated absolutely ah. so we have a button back here I'm gonna press it oh uh, <laughs> that's great so we've got a little landing pad has raised up. Uh, you then pop up the, the blades. blades. <laughs> that's looking more and more like some kind of chopper. Now you do have a little gun turret on the front. Oh here. yeah, that's like um, blue thunder or whatever, isn't it? Yep. And again, you can take off the weapons on the rhino <laughs> and just plug it in. Weigh the helicopter down. <laughs> Weigh the thing down. It's got two ports on the front here, you've got a port on the side, port on the wing, and that's the same on each side as well. And as we've seen before with the cockpit here, you can fit two G.I. Joe figures yep. inside it. So one is your pilot, one is your navigator or gunner. Um, even the little tail rotor there and everything, that doesn't spin. Uh, I don't yeah. Know. No, doesn't spin. <laughs> um, but it's, it's a cool little helicopter just on its own. Yeah. Um, and you've got still the rest of this cool APC with a little landing pad on there that you can utilize everything else on. And of course the APC still has a lot, another bit of coolness in it. If you go to this side, and it's only on this side, you've got a little button down here so you put your, your main door, yeah. so you guys can come in and out, but if you need to get them out in a hurry, <laughs> quick access. Great, so don't stand too close to that. No. Yeah. So this is from the 80s? No. Oh. <laughs> this is actually from the 2000s. Oh, okay. Hasbro decided to do something very interesting in that they decided to do direct to consumer sales. So they had a whole assortment of action figures and vehicles that were sold directly to the consumer through websites. This is a particularly good vehicle. They did a couple of them in that same direct to consumer line, which were awesome. This one did get reissued uh, at the time of the G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra movie, oh, yeah. um, where they included a different figure in there. I think it was a store exclusive though, so not as many people got it as could have, and that's a real shame because this is a truly awesome, awesome vehicle. 
So those are our thoughts on the G.I. Joe Direct Consumer Lines Rhino. Awesome, awesome vehicle. Absolutely, let us know what you think of it down below. Don't forget to thumbs up our video and subscribe to the channel. We are out of here for now. Yeah, but we'll stay tough until we're back, because we're tough. Joe Tough! <laughs>